first, I thought the first 10 or 12 minutes, we really had good energy, and then we kind of died on the vine a little bit. But, uh, you know, we got really good point guard play. He played really well and all around. Uh, you're talking about, you know, seven assists, right? Zero turnovers, five steals, and then he guarded maybe one of the best point guards around, which you couldn't tell tonight, but, like, I've seen him a lot. He's, he's hard to guard, and he did a really good job on him. When he plays like that, we have a legitimate chance. We did a good job of getting the ball inside early, which I think helped us simplify it a little bit. We're still making too many turnovers and just too many defensive lapses, but we're young and immature at times. What do you think whenever your team to keep the lead? There were some points there where maybe they were getting away from them, but they hung in there. Well, I mean, we shot at a high rate. You know, we were able to get the ball inside when it mattered. And we made a couple of good offensive rebounds and a couple of, uh, easy ones around the rim. And then we kicked out for some threes, which helped us. I mean, you know, we just have to keep keep improving attitudinally. You know, no disrespect to anybody. I know everybody wants to play, but like, you got to care about winning first, right? And then you have to. Then you have to play it at a higher level to get more minutes, and so like that's what you what you manage nowadays. And so, I think if we do that, our emphasis will improve, and we'll play better defensively. We'll take better <laughs> care of the ball. But they're good at stealing the ball. If you look at the numbers, they forced a lot of turnovers throughout the year. And at times, I thought we took care of the ball, and then at other times, we just made some silly ones. Mike Hughes has been shooting really well the past three games, uh, 20 points tonight. How impressed were you with, with him? I guess he did have the five turnovers, but. You know, he gets tired. I think Mike, I give Mike a lot of credit for what he's been through. You know, he had a marginal first year at Akron, and then he had the surgery last year. But he cares. Like you can tell, he really cares about winning. He, uh, he plays probably with more enthusiasm than most of our guys. And when he gets it around the rim, he's a load. He's good. He's good. He's worked hard at it. And uh, I think uh, he makes mistakes when he gets tired. It's evident. Like, he makes defensive and offensive mistakes. So 27 minutes is probably too many. And really, Rotroff and Omari Kelly are, are going to be good players. we got to get him more minutes. You know, uh, so he doesn't – I think Mike's probably about a 22-minute guy right now, as hard as he can play. I think he's taking a lot of plays off because that's just what he has to do. But look at he's 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 scored in double figures every game but one, right? And he become he presents problems for people because he demands double teams. Pretty much if he catches it down there, he's gonna score. And that's a big that's a big difference from this year's team to la from last year's team. I didn't realize he had that many to be honest with you. Keith, you uh were able to hold Marshall under their season average for scoring, but your guys were just in here saying, you know, they thought there were a lot of things they could still have done better on defense. What's your assessment of their overall defensive play? I don't, I, I don't want to sound negative. So the last time we played them, they got 85 on us. And we were a pretty old team. I thought they were a little better offensively the last time we played them. Now we got 99, but. They're hard because that point guard puts severe pressure on you. And then you figure the three guards they have are all good. Like people don't think Jared West is good, is as good as the other two, but he's a good player. So you figure you got West and you got CJ Burks and you got Elmore. Those guys are really good. Where they're missing a little bit is last year they had the other kid that turned pro early, the big guy. So they're missing that, but but, but he's unbelievable at developing young big kids, so they're gonna get better. So I didn't particularly like our defensive. I, th I liked it at times. I thought early in the game we got our hands on a lot of stuff other than the first two baskets. But then I thought we kind of, like Marcus got back cut twice. Like that's ridiculous. Like Kinsey is a great athlete, but he's, there's no way you should let him back cut you because he can't really score. So like that was just, we just made a lot of mental mistakes really. Keith, what made you go with um, Frankie to start instead of Eric? Uh, obviously, something happened. So I really don't want to, you know, that's confidential between me and him. But I, I, 
decided to go with Frank. But the, the key to all of this is having great discipline, having discipline in your program and understanding what's important and building this for the long term. So I'm not going to let guys just do whatever they want, period. I'm going to discipline my team. Like they should be disciplined, just like I discipline my son and daughter when I don't like what they do. You mentioned one of the questions you had going into this month was defense and on the rebounding side. You were a plus eight in that regard, taking advantage of that pain advantage. How important is that moving forward for you and for this team? Well, if we're playing all those big guys, we didn't play small one time tonight, right? So if we're going to play all those big guys, then we need to rebound the ball. We still have to do better than that. And the other thing is when you get the ball close to the rim, it gives you more offensive rebounding. Advantages, whether you're driving it to the rim or you're you're throwing it inside, but we still have a we still have a long way to go. I think one thing that's evident to me is our conditioning. Like we just we lose even playing as many guys as we're playing, we're we're not there all the time physically, and that, I think that's something we have to continue to improve. But that's typical of a young team as well. How many of those guys do you think will play a lot once the conference season starts? Well, Kellen Taylor's going to play too, so I think all of them. Mm -hmm. Like when you say those guys, who are you referring to? The guys who played tonight. So guys. Wade, Lamar Norman, Amari, Rotroff. The guy who had the, mo the most minutes tonight, are they going to be playing when the conference starts? Season? Well, they all played the same pretty much other than Sincere. I don't, I don't think that's going to change much. Mm -hmm trying to still figure out who the best guys are. And who, so when I say that, you understand it's not necessarily the best five guys. It's the best five that play as a team the best. Right? So that becomes a key element as to who you're playing. Uh, Heath, was it good to see <coughs> Mike Lewis get going a little bit with it, the way he struggled putting it in the basket? Yeah, it was good. I. I Look, I like Mike Lewis, and he deserves to have success, so it makes me feel a little bit better. I wish he would have played a little bit more. you know. But again, that, that was a little bit defensive-based at the start of the second half, and then some plays down the crunch that I didn't particularly like. You know, we got driven a couple of times. But he can put the ball in the basket, and I want to play him. I really do, because he's a good person. He's a good, good guy. He, he does things the right way. So he's going to get better and better because he he, he puts the time in. Keith, um, Marshall had four guys, four starters back from the team that beat Wichita State. How does this victory rank among the victories you've had here at Duquesne in two years? Um, I would have been disappointed if we didn't beat him. I'm going to sound arrogant. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, just feel like we have to win at home. If you want, if you want to be a good team, you have to win at home. So, if we go to Marshall and they beat us, maybe I wouldn't be disappointed. But I'd be disappointed if they beat us at home. I think they're a good team. I think, like, if you don't, if you don't really try defensively, they can tear you to pieces. Right? Like they'll dunk at the rim, they'll shoot threes. Um, we still went, gave up nine threes, which is crazy. I mean, we got to do better. Than but, but it's a good win. I mean, I think the Radford game turned out to be a good win, but we didn't really probably figure it was a great win. But From what they did later on. Yeah. I mean, they beat Notre Dame and Texas on the road. Which, so I, and they're an NCAA tournament team. The good thing is we're playing teams that have been there. So, you know, they have a good feel for what it takes to win. And, you know, that guy's a good coach. That guy. So, you know how the, the NBA and the college game has changed? Dan Tony's the one that invented that stuff. They got it from Europe. So his brother and him and a couple other people brought it from Europe and now everybody's playing that way. So he, <coughs> it's kind of like playing the Princeton offense. He invented it, him and his brother. So like they're, they're the best at it in the country. So when you give up a dunk or two, it's not because you're so bad defensively, it's just they're good at it. Keith, you mentioned you're still trying to find the five best guys that you know work the best together um how much you know progress are you making with that and you know what do you what do you look for necessarily and where are you just as far as you know team chemistry um 
I think the biggest thing for us is just maturing as people. I think uh, I think we got about half the room totally where we want them, and then the other half is not quite understanding what it takes to be championship level, right? And uh, and I'm not talking about my young kids. My young kids, in a lot of ways, are doing a lot of good things. Look, I understand when Amari Kelly throws the ball away. That makes sense to me, right? He made two of them today, that, but, but he's doing a lot of good things, like changing balls at the rim, scoring around the rim. We just have to roll with him. We got to take a hit or two along the way because we have to roll with them because those guys are good players. They're going to be really good players. And again, I think the biggest thing for us is we just have to we just have to mature and care about winning more than anything. I think that's the key to, to everything we do is going to be our mental approach to everything. So Marcus Weathers is a good example. He wants to win. He does. Now he wants to play. Everybody wants to play well, right? I don't blame him. I don't blame guys for wanting to play, but like you have to earn it. It's just like me, like nobody cares how many games we've won or I've won. It's all what I do now, right? Like I, I get it, right? I have to produce and so do they, right? It's as simple as that. And they have to produce every day in practice. I think that's the key. Every day in practice, you earn your stripes. And eventually if you produce every day in practice, if you're not playing now, if you have reasonable ability, you, you will play later. Somebody will open the door for you, right? So I like our team. I think, you know, again, we have to mold them and develop them into a championship level team. Good. Good. Appreciate you guys.